Dima, the leader of Acadia in the expansion for Fallout 4 Far Harbor, was one of the Institute's first sentient synths. He escaped the Institute with his prototype sibling, whom we now know as Nick Valentine, and fled to Far Harbor in order to create a safe haven for escaped synths to live freely. In the Far Harbor DLC, the player must ultimately mediate between three factions, the Children of Atom, Arcadia, and the residents of Far Harbor. Tensions between the factions stem from the fog, a radiated weather condition that makes human habitation on the island far more dangerous. The Children of Atom, religious fanatics who worship nuclear bombs, believe the fog to be a blessing of their god. They revel in the fog's harmful effects. Radiation, for them, is a holy blessing. The residents of Far Harbor, however, feel threatened. The fog brings with it deadly creatures that assault their town. And unlike the Children of Atom, they're not too keen on radiation and mutation. Those of Far Harbor use fog condensers to protect the small area surrounding their town. These condensers turn the fog into liquid form. In between the two factions is Arcadia. Dima, the leader, has tried to mediate between the children and the residents of Far Harbor by somewhat placating both sides. To Far Harbor, he gifted the fog condensers, whilst to the children of Atom, Dima gave the nuclear base that he had formerly settled in. There's an issue, however. The children of Atom now threaten Dima unless he withdraws his technical help from Far Harbor. Equally, the residents of Far Harbor are increasingly upset with the children of Atom and, by implication, Arcadia. I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. Throughout the quest line, the player comes to learn that Dima came up with several contingencies to safeguard his people if either the Children of Atom or the town of Far Harbor became completely hostile. Desperate to find a way for his people to survive on the island, Dima decided to kill Captain Avery, the de facto leader of Far Harbor, and replace her with a synth in order to have a moderate voice able to calm the residents of the town. Second, he devised a contingency plan to shut down the power source of Far Harbor, which would effectively kill all of its people. Lastly, he possesses the detonation key of the submarine's nuclear missile that, if activated, will destroy the Children of Atom's base and a large chunk of the island. All three of these pieces of memory are locked away from Dima himself. He cannot cope with what he has done or what he thinks he may yet have to do. So the quest line revolves around chiefly recovering these memories and deciding what to do with the information. Dima appears at first glance to be a benign and calm being. You'd never expect him to be capable of murder or mass slaughter. But Dima also appears as intelligent at first, but I want to challenge that. In many ways, it actually appears as if Dima's made some stupid decisions. Firstly, his contingencies aren't really necessary. Dima didn't have to prime a new or set up a way to cut off Far Harbor's power. In order to solve the crisis, all he needed to do from the beginning was replace High Confessor Tectus as well as Avery. I don't know why he didn't do this at the start. He knew that replacing Avery would pacify Far Harbor, so why not just solve the problem and replace Tectus with an obedient synth? Dima only does this at the end of the main quest line. And yes, murdering two people isn't ideal, but it's superior to having the islanders go to war against each other, or having to execute Dima's contingencies, which would lead to countless lives lost. Fundamentally, the contingencies were entirely unnecessary. Two synth replacements was all that was needed. Why blow up the children of Atom when you can simply instate a leader who will pacify them instead? On another level, Dima comes across as insincere in his apparent guilt for his actions. For a being that claims to be peaceful and to love life, he seems remarkably keen to prime a nuke in the children of Atom's base and to hook up a master switch to the Far Harbor supply system. Surely if Dima was so concerned about the safety of his people, he would simply have moved rather than kill others so that his fellows could stay in Acadia. Dima should have looked elsewhere, further north perhaps, to resettle, leaving the island to its own devices. Although, as we see in the ending where one helps Dima to replace the leaders of the Children of Atom and Far Harbor with synths, Dima's decision to stay on the island might end up being a good thing in the long term. Both leaders, now far less militant as replacement synths, will probably avert the bloody war that would have erupted on the island. In a different sense, Dima appears 
irresponsible by luring Kasumi to the island. Kasumi, who was bored at her family home, left for Acadia after she began to question her humanity. She contacted Acadia over the radio and became convinced that she was in fact a synth, although there's no evidence in the game to confirm or deny this. Kasumi doesn't drop a synth component when she dies, but then neither does Glory or Roger Warwick, whom we both know are synths. Moreover, conversations with Boxer or William Moseley do not confirm or deny Kasumi's status, so it seems as if Dima or one of his subordinates lured Kasumi to Acadia, even though the journey is dangerous, on the slim belief that she may be a synthetic being. All in all, Dima is definitely a lesser idiot. If you've watched my Elder Scrolls video, then you'll understand when I say that Dima is nowhere near close to being on the same level as Delphine, arguably Skyrim's biggest buffoon. Nonetheless, Dima makes some extremely questionable decisions, from creating dangerous and seemingly pointless contingencies to luring young women to Arcadia on the unfounded belief they may be synths. It's clear that despite his long lifespan and advanced synth processing power, Dima is a bit of an idiot. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. Just before I end, I want to give a quick shout out to Apex Gaming PCs. They do all sorts of computers to suit your needs, but I have a line of PCs with them, especially for those who want to play RPGs at the best settings. So please check out the link in the description. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.